Hi everyone, this is Abrar. Welcome to Abrar Knowledge Channel. Today's topic in Lean Six Sigma. Six Sigma, how to set the Six Sigma uh, target. When we say, you know, a lot of people do confuse that actually like let's say they are operating at Three Sigma. Uh, directly they jump and uh, have a, you know, target of Six Sigma. Sometime it is uh, overly, uh, you know, targeted or overly predicted. Sometime we may end up not achieving the target. To achieve the target so i'm gonna give you some tips around so that you can follow it so please stay tuned till the end so that you will get the internet message so in this case there are three bell curve uh, so the first one is the current process performance in the performance you can also call it a z right so that's the baseline. I would like to convert that as a benchmark. To do that, there is something in middle, there is something called process in entitlement. For example, when we collect the baseline, what the best operating uh, you know, performance we had, that's something called enti entitlement. Let me give an example. Let's say the current performance is three sigma. Yeah. So, uh, you know, in few months, I, I was able to achieve four sigma. And I was able to achieve 4.1 Sigma. So that means 4.1 Sigma is my entitlement. First, what I have to do is I have to go and achieve this target. So not coming back to the long term target later. So I should train. I mean, I should strive and achieve to get 4.1. So the first tight, I mean, first thing what we have to do is by setting up the baseline, the current entitlement the best operating process that you need to choose up that becomes let's say my three from the three entitlement the best operating figure i get across is 4.1 so that's the short term goal i should have from that you can find a ways like from achieving to these and these what all the positives you can write it down maybe due to low attrition what the technological changes happen what the process changes happen all these you can make note of it and then you try to sustain any on it and try to horizontally deploy on this so that first step is to achieve entitlement one from your current uh, best process once that is been done what we have to do just monitor have a control plan everything and then you can go for long term one from there, let's say my process is four. I wanted to have 25% of improvement. Let's say I wanted to set the first year as 4.8, eight sigma. The second year I wanted to focus on five point, let's say six sigma. And third year, by the third year, I wanted to go minimum six and maximum 6.4 or something like that. So that means the first and foremost thing we should consider is entitlement and try to find out the, what the positives it. And then from here to here, what are the root causes or the variations we have? That variations we can figure out. So that means this standard deviation, we can try to find out, we can try to find that what are the variation which is causing that problem. So if you found that variations, we'll be able to put the project together. And then as uh, you know, the long forward, we will be able to achieve this one. I hope uh, this video is useful and have a nice day ahead.